Hey what's up guys, it's Chopmint here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Steam games with any controller. Uh, I'm actually remaking this video, I made a video like this about 3 years ago, but uh, the reason I'm remaking it is because Steam has since made it much easier to do this. But if this video doesn't help you for any reason, if it doesn't work for you, uh, then you can go and watch that old video if you want to, I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, plug in your controller and open up Steam. And then in here in Steam, go to the top right corner and click on this Big Picture Mode button, which will uh, turn on Steam Big Picture. So you should be on this screen. If you're not, you can just go back to it by either pressing Escape or back on your controller. And then go up here to the Settings cog, to Controller Settings. Depending on what uh, controller you're using, you want to either check PlayStation Configuration Support, Xbox configuration support, Switch, or generic. Uh, generic is basically for any uh, controllers that are like third party, so not PlayStation, uh, Xbox, or Switch, or you know Steam controller. And also to play some games with a generic controller, you also need this Xbox configuration. Uh, a game like that is Terraria. I don't know. There are probably others, but uh, yeah, if this is causing you problems, you can try turning it off. But uh, I haven't that had any problems with it yet, so I'm just gonna leave it there. And then go here to detect the controllers, you should see your controller here, and go to define layout. Here, make sure all of your keys are properly bound, you know, you don't have any unbound other than guide, you can leave uh, guide unbound, but everything else should be bound. Uh, and if it's not, you know, obviously bind it. And then go here to save. Uh, here you can name this controller uh, setup and upload it for other people to use, but here I'm just going to press no thanks. And you should see your controller pop up here uh, within a few seconds, and you should be good to open up and play any games with this controller now. And let me also show the same thing to you with a PlayStation controller. So when you plug in a PlayStation controller, as you can see some other settings pop up, but these aren't really that important, just check PlayStation configuration support. Uh, you can also change the shutdown time and stuff like uh, controller light here if you want to, but uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it really. Uh, you should be able to open up any game and you can play it with the controller now. Uh, also another thing you can do with both a PlayStation and any other controller is if you go to your game, manage game, and controller configuration. You can also change your controls here for uh, like specific games. So for example, I can change this here and it's not going to affect my other games. So uh, yeah, that's also a pretty useful feature, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this video helped you. If it did, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If it didn't, um, you can go try that other video. I'll leave the link in the description, as I said. If that doesn't help you either, leave a comment on either this or that video, and I will try to help you to the best of my abilities. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.